I saw boom. What's going on YouTube? It's your favorite YouTube. You just don't know yet. We back with another comparison video and we're gonna be versus in the same brand the G1 versus the G2s the OG versus the new kids on the block and let's get right into it and we got the second video in a row with the glasses you know what I'm saying we are uh I got like some roll in my eyes I guess so I haven't been wearing my contacts Better. Getting right into it, for those of y'all that forgot, when we compare two different gloves together, we compare the grip, the comfortability, and the durability. So we're gonna get right into the first aspect of grip. With the grip, as I said in my performance test for the G2s that just came out, the next grip technology, if it, it ain't broke, broke don't, don't fix it, it, man. They come out with a solid grip with the G1s, and they carry it over to the G2s, and that same solid, sturdy, durable grip, fine in the rain, fine wherever you are. No difference here. Again, it's one of those formulas that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. One thing I will say though is with the grip, the comfortability of a glove and just the supporting cast of a glove is what complements the grip for the grip being the best that it is. For the G2s, the compression on that back of the hand brings an airflow that keeps your hand cool inside. Compared to the G1s where you only got it on the fingers, it keeps your fingers cool, but not the back of your hand. So with that back of the hand for the G2 being fully compression, skin fit, skin fit. It puts the lotion on its skin. <laughs> Skin tight, it's gonna be, again, that built-in AC unit for your hand. When your hand feels cool, you just feel ready and you feel like you want to use the grip of the glove to catch. So with that being said, while the two gloves have the same grip per se, when it comes to the supporting cast, the G2 wins. So I'm going to say that the grip on the G2s is better than the G1s. On to comfortability after our last conversation in the grip. As I was saying, the compression all around the glove for the G2 is gonna bring a beautiful airflow comfortability. It keeps your body temperature of your hands low because it's not restricted by or the blockage of the airflow when it comes to a cloth glove or all the rubber that's on certain aspects of a glove. With the G2s, we have the fully compressed, skin tight. All around the hand, we have that compression and it's gonna bring airflow throughout the hand, not just in the back of the hand, not just in the fingers, not just in the bottom of the hand because of the uh, wrist strap. It's gonna bring an all around airflow so when you get that little breeze, it's gonna feel great. When it comes to the G1s, because it doesn't have that skin tight compression, it has more cloth, 10% uh, more fabric overall compared to the G2s, it's gonna be a little heavier. I understand that football gloves weigh 0.02 pounds. Damn boy, he fit! But when wearing the G1s compared to the G2s, the G1s genuinely feel heavier. And again, the G1s are not a crazy outrageous heavy glove but when compared to the G2s, the gloves are heavier. And as you guys know, the lighter the gloves, the lighter the equipment, the better. So, it's gonna go to G2 here. And last but not least, we have the durability aspect. And the durability of the gloves, I understand the G2s just came out. But with that being said, I tried on the G1s after some time, the grip didn't fall out. You gotta, you know, sometimes you gotta spit on them, wake them up, but... <laughs> G1's grip still there. The durability of the overall glove is still intact. So the G2's are gonna have to show something to say, hey, we are we are more durable than the G1's. When it comes to the G2's, trying on my gloves, wearing an XL and wearing a double XL, I will say it was more so the XL than the double XL, but I saw some stitching exposure and I know that a lot of gloves have stitching exposure. Yes, when you stitch a glove and you end that little end point, that's where you cut off the string to move on to the next piece of equipment. I saw, noticeably saw a lot of stitching exposure in the G2s and that's not to say that it's the G2s are gonna fall apart next week or something but again something to note and another thing that I have to state as well is the G1s having a heavier feel they did feel more sturdy and that again the durability comparing these two gloves is a little difficult but I just something about trying on old gloves from a while ago I don't even know when did the G1s come out the G1s still being intact not having an issue, still having the grip, still having, still being fully intact is something worth noting that the G2s did not have a chance to deliver yet. But from what I've seen versus what I know, 
Gotta give it to the G1s here. With that being said, there's another comparison video. We have we have a lot of comparisons because a lot of gloves are coming out with the next renditions of their gloves, but we're gonna start comparing one glove versus another glove. And what gloves do you guys wanna see? When I do these comparisons, I will say it's kind of not really as fair because the newer gloves get compared to an older glove and the older glove has a chance to show its durability, which is one third of the rating system. And I don't know. Maybe I need to revamp the rating system. Again, what I know is what I know. These videos, I've been reading a lot of comments lately and I feel like you guys are expecting me to tell you what gloves to get. That is not the point of my channel. The point of my channel is to deliver what I know because you guys aren't going to try on all the gloves that I'm trying on. I understand that. When I was playing football and I was Oh, what is the best glove that I can get? I wish I had the Where's Will channel because I'm not gonna go out and buy four pairs of gloves to find which one I like and just keep a bunch of extra ones. That's expensive. What I'm here to do is to show you the pros, the cons of gloves, and if we're gonna compare them like this video right here, we're gonna compare them, but I'm not gonna tell you which one to buy. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that the G1s are a terrible glove. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys the G2s are the greatest glove on earth. When it comes to the top five gloves for running backs, wide receivers, etc., the top five gloves of 2023, 2022, again, it's my personal preference for these, these top five gloves ranked in that order. The tier list, same thing. I could be completely wrong. I can be lying to you and telling you that the Under Armour spotlights are the greatest gloves to ever grace this earth. Believe me or not, I, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to go on a rant, but I just noticed the comments and yeah. I'm trying to implement the same stuff that we have and at the same time still do some different things. And again, those different videos are still coming out. I, like I said, my invis, or why do I keep saying Invisalign? With Invisalign. But my wisdom tooth kind of messed up the scheduling that we had and the team over here had, and that's on me. And I full 100% take the blame on my shoulders. We're gonna just keep grinding. We have more stuff coming out and I don't know what channel I'm gonna post it to. I don't even know if you guys know my second channel. I don't wanna say it because I think it's kind of cool that I haven't told you guys about the channel, but it's growing organically without telling you guys. These are pretty cool. Yeah, just turn on post notifications, subscribe, follow your boy on Instagram, follow your boy on Twitter. Since we have a team now, I'm gonna start posting the YouTube shorts with the TikToks with the Instagram reels. That is the ideology of it. And so if you guys are told about that second channel, I'm gonna start the boxing journey of it, of my, I guess, social media presence on Instagram, on the shorts or YouTube, TikToks, etc. And then we're gonna transition over to here. So that's gonna be the plan. So if you guys like it, if you guys don't like it, then you don't have to like it. You don't have to subscribe, I guess. But if you guys do like it, if you like the content for your boy, subscribe, hit the post notifications, tell a friend to tell your mom to tell your teammate. I appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. If nobody's told you yet, I know the show grind. Keep up the hard work. It's going to pay off one day and I will catch y'all on the next episode. Peace.